Hi, welcome to another Fingernail Fixer video. I just wanted to take the time to really get very clear about the difference between cuticle and epinicium because it's so easy to misunderstand. And this is a great example here. Here is a little ridge of skin along the back here. This is epinicium. A lot of times this gets mistaken for cuticle, but if you were to go to a salon that trimmed this piece of skin off, which is epinicium, it's living tissue. So when this living tissue is removed, it will grow back calloused, which will make it thick and hard because it's trying to protect itself from being removed. If you look at the other half, part of the epidicium on this nail has been trimmed away. And so you can see where this gives the appearance most people would think, oh, well, it just looks like part of the cuticle has been cut. But actually, part of the epinicium has been cut. So this part here will grow back calloused. And if you look really closely, you can kind of see where the nail is starting to get a little red and puffy around that edge. And that is from that seal being broken by the cuticle being cut. And now bacteria can penetrate through this section here. So you want to make sure that when you go to a salon, you're not allowing that epinicium to be cut. To show you an example of what truly is the cuticle, if we look at this nail here, you can see she still has that little red, little ridge, which is the epinicium. If I were to take my tool and just kind of run it along that edge a little bit, this white that flakes up out here on the nail plate, that is actually cuticle. So out here on the nail plate is where you truly find cuticle. This ridge is living tissue. To get a little more detail, I would suggest going to Doug Schoen, D-O-U-G-S-C-H-O-O-N.com and reading his article about what is true cuticle. But I really hope that this visual, see how you can really see the cuticle on this part here? I really hope this visual is giving you a better idea so that you can avoid something like this where the epinicium gets trimmed. And here, I happen to stop this in progress. Some salons will actually trim that entire epinicium off and then really you open yourself up to bacterial infection, plus it's gonna be more likely to callus over. Take care of yourself, make great salon choices, and have a good day.